What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTie.com and today we're unboxing the 4th generation or 2010 iPod Touch. This is the 32GB model which goes for $300. There are also 8 and 64GB models that run at $230 and $400 respectively. Personally, I think the 32GB iPod hits the sweet spot in terms of value. Let's quickly talk specs. The latest iPod Touch sports Apple's a4 processor comes with 256 megabytes of RAM, a 3.5 inch multi-touch retina display with 960 by 640 resolution, a 3 axis gyroscope, a rear mounted camera that can take 960 by 720 stills and record video in HD at 720p and 30 frames per second, a front facing VGA camera for use with FaceTime, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a microphone, speaker and so on. It's also smaller, thinner, and lighter than previous generations of the iPod Touch. Music playback is rated at 40 hours or 7 hours for video playback with a full charge. Whew, I'm out of breath. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. As you can see, it comes in a very, very petite box. We can see that the iPod Touch is sitting on top. And it says iPod Touch on the side. Apple logo, iPod Touch again on the back, you can see that it's 32 gigabytes. So very minimalistic design, but it's nice and compact, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and unleash the beast. Go ahead and peel this back. Okay, looks like I got it. Ah, uh, there we go. Looks like it's fastened by the protective film. We'll go ahead and peel this off. Uh, there's nothing like removing the film off of a brand new device. Wow. So this is awesome. It's very thin, as you can see, and it's very light. It feels great in hand. So we'll go ahead and put this off to the side for now. Check out what else is in this box. We have instruction manuals, the usual Apple earbuds, and the charging sinking cable. So just the bare necessities, but I guess that's all we need. All right, so let's take a look at the iPod Touch itself. At the top, we have a front-facing camera. Below that, we have the high-definition retina display. Remember, it's 960 by 640 resolution. Uh, I believe that's 326 pixels per inch. So anything displayed on the screen is going to look very rich and crisp. Uh, everything's going to stand out, unlike what we saw on previous generations of the iPod Touch where icons and some text didn't look quite as crisp and you could see the pixels and sometimes they appeared fuzzy. Uh, moving on, let's go to the side. We have the volume rocker. At the bottom, we have the speaker, the charge and sync port and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On this side we don't have anything. And at the top we have the sleep and wake button. And on this side, on the back, we have the camera. Unfortunately there is no flash like on the iPhone 4 and we also have some logo. Let's go ahead and compare it to some other devices. Unfortunately, I do not have an iPhone 4, nor do I have a previous iPod Touch, but I do have something more old school. I have the iPod Classic 5th generation. So we'll go ahead and put it side to side. Remember, this has a 2.5 inch screen and the iPod Touch has a 3.5 inch screen. As you can see, it's much thinner. And 
Android users out there might recognize this, the Droid Incredible from Verizon. So this has a 3.7 inch screen, iPod Touch 3.5 inch screen. Put that side to side. Obviously the iPod Touch is thinner. And finally, super big screen. This is the HTC Evo 4G from Sprint, which has a 4.3 inch screen compared to the 3.5 inch of the iPod Touch. So it just gobbles it up as you can see, side by side. iPod Touch is thinner. And just for fun, here we have the iPad, and there we have the iPod Touch. So this was a quick unboxing and hardware overview of the new iPod Touch. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned to SmartKTi.com for the software walkthrough, as well as other mobile device news and reviews. Finally, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash for all the latest updates. Thanks for watching.